the title of this interview series is Spiritual Resources. And I would like to ask you about your resources. That is what you draw on most personally and poignantly, if you're willing to speak of it, for living in the 21st century, for facing the challenges that we all know we have, environmental challenges, social challenges, personal challenges, because if religion is worth anything at all, it's got to at least give us the energy to do and live in the world. Well, um, I perhaps can comment on that question maybe on two levels. On one, in terms of um, what I come to feel and trust and affirm through through re, through my my spirituality, and then also how how I go about my spirituality, like in the practices. But I think t nowadays, when we when when we look at our world, and you know, it always seems to be worse than the situation we're in, and things are pretty bad here. When we look at the environmental threat, when we look at the incredible amount of suffering due to injustice, where people cannot feed their children, cannot find medical, I mean, the incredible amount of suffering. When we look at the, the structures that are there that seem to be sometimes so oppressive, the economic system that seems to be increasing, you know, the vast the gap between the few very wealthy and the many who are poor, and you just wonder, holy hell, can I do, well, I'm not sure if I should say words like that on your state, but you say, can we change things? Can, is it worthwhile to struggle? That's a religious question. That, that is, there's no neat answer to that. That comes only from some kind of religious experience by which, through which, in which you know that when you are struggling to have compassion on your fellow human beings, when you are struggling to change the structures, the economic structures, the political structures that seem to be oppressive. Let's get concrete. When you are trying to, to change the health system in, our, in, in the United States of America that seems to keep 45 million people without health care, when you say, how can we ever change anything, really? The answer is, I don't know for sure if we can change things. All I know is that we have to try. And that if I don't try, I am somehow not being authentic to what I am. And what, what, what do you mean by that? By the, namely, by this, the, well, I'll, I have to use a symbol here, by the spirit that, that, that is, is animating me, that is calling me to act with compassion and, 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 and love and justice and act for justice. If I don't do it, I, I, I wouldn't be who I feel I should be. That's an interesting take. So simply the act of concern and the dilemma in ourselves to want to do something, to want to care, that is compassion. That is religion. Because religion, the root word. No, say, no, that is what, what again, my, our word, or my, our, I presume you're a Christian, the Christian, that's the spirit. That's the presence of God. That's the, the divine energy. When you feel that, 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 that call, uh, one philosopher, Levinas, puts it that, that, that with the face of a, of, a, of a human other that looks into, into your eyes and you feel called to respond, to care for, especially if that face is suffering, that is the, what we would call the Holy Spirit. There will be other words for it. The Buddhists would say that's the, that's the energy of interbeing, the energy of what would be the words in other faiths? Oh, well, I mean, for for um, Hindus, I mean, I think it would be depending on what kind of a Hindu it is. But that's the very reality of Brahman, the ultimate Brahman that is real and present in 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 the Atman that each of us uh, has, the individual individual souls. In Taoism, it is the interconnecting flow of the Tao, you know, that that is part part of of of, of all of us. In Judaism, of course, I mean, of course, I shouldn't say it's it's the Shekinah. It is that presence, that that is real in all of us, and that touches each of us in each other of us. What would be the parallel in Islam? Oh well, in 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 Islam, I I think it would be 
the what for for Muslims the sense of the need to be submissive to to Allah who is one merciful and just and that when you when you uh, feel the 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 call in in Islam it's it's a somewhat more dualistic although I have to be careful here there is Allah and Allah's will calling you to recognize the oneness of all of us in Allah to be merciful towards each, each other because Allah is is Rahman is is merciful and just that submission the call to submit is is I would say that's submit to the will of God to the will of God a will that calls us to mercy and justice